Hi friends, this is Venkat Krishna from Chris Software Solutions. Coming to the video, we are going to discuss about uh, what are all the other features of Selenium IDE and one more time we are going to see how to record this script in Selenium IDE and other uh, features of Selenium IDE. For one locator, how we can see other, other locators of for the same element. These are all the things we are going to see in this video. Let me enter into the video. I want to record my script on some sample website. So this is the easy website, easily you can understand. And let me open my Selenium IDE. See here you can able to see Selenium IDE, right? Already I covered the installation of Selenium IDE in the previous video. Just open a new project. Okay, I'm planning to record on it. But this is my base URL. You need to update the base URL here and click on the record. See base URL is open successfully. I want to click on, okay, I am recording these all statements. Click on sign on, click on register, click on support, click on contact and again I am clicking on register. Just I am entering all the data here. I am entering, see previously I entered all the data. So, all the data, these all statements will be recorded over there. I am, I am entering my username, my password, my password, clicking on submit. Okay, so registered successfully. I am clicking on left side flights. And here in the round trip, I am selecting the number of passengers departing from and uh, arriving in i need to select here i have selected that and here business class i have selected the airlines i have selected click on continue here you are selecting the, the these options and all which airline what is the price and all you can do here and click on continue and here these are all the mandatory fields i am entering and here American Express card is asking for us. We are doing that. And some expiration date. Okay, so these are all not mandatory fields. So that is fine. Click on secure purchase. Okay, so these are all our fields. Displaying. And I am going to click on the logout. I am clicking on the logout. So these are all the statements I have recorded using the Selenium IDE. So this is my IDE. It is recorded all my statements. Just I am clicking on the stop recording here. It is asking the name of the test name. Just I am entering the my step name here. I stopped my recording. See here. What are all the statements you recorded? Everything is updated here. With the different locators. You can see here. It is uh, URL and it is link text. Link text, link text. CSS, link text, name, ID it is using, name, uh, CSS, ID it is using. So based on this easily you can understand the different syntaxes of different locators. Well, if you want to highlight something, for example, sign on you want to highlight, select that particular line and click on the highlight. See sign on is highlighting successfully. And similarly you want to highlight register. See register is highlighting successfully. Similarly, address 1, address 1 is, see not highlighting, why? Because address 1 is not there in this page. You, if you go to the register page, now try to highlight the address 1, try to highlight the address 1, now it will highlight, see? So it means that that particular element need to be there, open in your page, then only it will highlight. Okay, that is one thing. And second thing I want to show you, see, let me enter all this into the other document to your reference. So this is for the link text, link text, you know how to identify that and all. Let me show you one more time, link text, see for example, we are in the sign on page, or sign on link I want to verify, click on inspect element, in the inspect element before the closing tag some text is there here, this is the link text, similarly for register also. So this is the link text. So. In the recording, it has used link text is the 
uh, one to identify this particular sign on okay similarly css it has used css and the name it is using name attribute equal to name attribute value name attribute equal to name attribute value it is using id also it is using id equal to id attribute value okay similarly you can see here name equal name already i have written css css is already there id id equal to id attribute value id already copied okay link text uh, css that's all right fine see for example one more advantage of the uh, selenium ide is for example here id equal to email is there i want to see other similar locators to identify this particular field i want to see other similar locators but i don't want to write but i i want to see other other locators how we can identify this particular element what is this element id equal to email online testing help so it means that we need to come here i hope uh, this one okay let me highlight okay username it is highlighting the username see can you click on this down arrow can you click on this down arrow you can able to see all see you can identify that one by using id already we have seen you can identify using name also see it is highlighting you can identify that by using css also see it is highlighting you can identify that by using xpath also see it is highlighting you can also see one more xpath is also there highlight see so that is one more advantage of the selenium ide so other similar locators which which will identify the particular element in your application you can able to see in the selenium ide so like this way this is the best practice you need to since you are a beginner this is the best practice you need to do to locate the particular elements and all you need to record it and verify what are all the other locators are there and try to understand how the syntax and all in my next video i am covering the importance of xpath and how to do that but before that you need to know what are all the different syntaxes we have by recording the a few applications any other application and verify here how the locators it is creating and and what are all the similar locators for each element we are having so that is what i want to cover in this video so we have seen how to record it how to uh, highlight the look uh, element in your application similarly how to see the other locators for the same element in the selenium ide so these all we have covered in this video okay in the next video i'm going to cover importance of xpath and how to write different syntaxes and all that we will see in the next video okay thank you so much if you like this video please share it subscribe it and encourage me to do more videos if you have any doubts or uh, issues with you then please put it into your chat box i will do few more videos for you Right. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.